In this lecture, we will try to understand what is parameter pollution and how to prevent parameter pollution in our express application. So let's go to Postman for that. And here, let's go to this movies folder. And from there, let's open this get all movies request. So here, when I click on this send button, it is going to make a get request to get all movies API. And in the result, we should see all the movies which we have in our database. So currently we have 10 movies in our database and you can see those 10 movies in the result. But currently these movies are not sorted in any way. So let's go ahead and let's sort these movies maybe by duration. So here, let's say I want to sort the movie by duration. And let's also try to sort the movie by price. So after the movies are sorted by duration, we also want to sort the movie by price. Okay, now when I send this request, here you will notice that we have an error and it says query string dot sort split is not a function. Now the split function, it can be used on a string value, right? But when we are passing two sorts, so first we want to sort by duration and then we want to sort by price. So now in the request body, so here if I go to this utils folder and there if we open this API features, here we have this sort function. So this sort function will be called in order to sort the result. And when we are sorting the result, there we are expecting this sort to be a string value. But now since we have specified two sort values, sort by duration and sort by price, in this case, for this query string dot sort, we are going to receive an array. And on that array, we are trying to call this split method. And because of that, we have this error. So here, we are basically polluting the parameter. Our application is expecting only a single sort value. But here, we are passing multiple sort values. And because of that, our application has crashed. Let me also show you what we are going to receive for this sort here. So here I'll simply log that query dot sort. So let's say this dot query string dot sort. Okay, here let's save the changes. Before that, let me go to this node terminal. Here, let's save the changes. So our application has restarted and the database connection is also successful. Let's go to Postman now. Let's make a request. We are still going to get that error. But now if I go to Visual Studio, there you will see that an array has been logged. And in that array, we have duration and price. And in the request also, we want to sort first by duration and then by price. So here, for this query string dot sort, we are receiving an array. And on that array, we are trying to call this split method because of which our application is crashing. So this is an example of parameter pollution. Now, how can we resolve this parameter pollution issue? For that, we are going to use another third party package. So here, let me clear the console first. And here we are going to install HPP, which stands for HTTP parameter pollution. So this is the package name HPP, HTTP parameter pollution. Let's press enter and let's try to install this package. So the package has been installed. Let's go ahead and let's go to our app.js and there let's require that package. So let's create a variable. Let's simply call it as HPP and we want to require that HPP package. Okay. And when we are requiring this HPP, it is going to return us a function and that function will be assigned to this HPP variable. Now we are going to use the HPP middleware. So for that here after XSS, let's also say app.use and here we are going to call the HPP function. So as I mentioned earlier, when we are requiring this HPP package, it is going to return us a function that will be stored inside this HPP variable. And here we are calling that function. And when we are calling that function, it is going to return us a middleware. And we are using that middleware now in our express application. And the middleware which this function is returning, it is going to prevent any parameter pollution in our express application. So now if I go back to Postman and now again, if we try to sort the result first by duration and then by price, we should not get any error. So let me 
send a request. Here we are not getting any error. So we are getting all the 10 movies in the result. But you will notice that these movies are sorted by price. They are not sorted by duration. So if I scroll down, here the price for this movie is 8. Then the next movie should have either the same price or the price greater than 8. So here the price is 40. Here the price is 47. Here the price is again 47. Here the price is 48. So as you can see, the movie is sorted by price and not by duration. That's because when we are using this HPP middleware, it is going to take the last value of the parameter. In this case, it is going to take the last value for this sort query string. And here we are specifying we want to sort by price. So the results will be sorted by price and previous query string values will be omitted. So this is how this HPP package, the middleware which is returned by calling this HPP function, it is going to work. It is going to avoid any parameter pollution. Now here we also have one problem now. So now if I go back and here if I try to filter the result by duration. So for example here let's say I want to filter all those movies where duration is 90. So let's see if we have any movies with the duration in 90. So let's say 125. Okay and we also want to filter those movies where the duration So all these movies has duration of 125. I'm searching for another movie. Okay, duration 127. So let's also specify and duration equals 107. So what we want is we want to filter all those movies where the duration is either 125 or 107. So now when I send the request, we are receiving the response, but in the response, we are receiving only one movie. And there, if you notice the duration, it is 107 so again the hpp middleware it is taking the last value of this duration it is not considering this value of the duration this 125 so here our application will fail because from this filter query we should be filtering all those movies where the duration is either 125 or 107 but in the result we are only getting those movies where the duration is 107 so to solve this problem, what we can do is, let's go back to VS Code. And there, when we are calling this function, there we can pass an options object. And there we can specify whitelist. And here we can specify an array. And in that array, we can specify what are the parameters we want to whitelist here. For example, here we want to whitelist duration. Okay, if I save the changes now, and if we go to postman again and now if i try to filter for duration 125 and duration 107 now we should get all the results where the duration is 125 or where the duration is 107 so previously we were getting only one movie in the result but now you see we have five movies in the result so here you will see movie where the duration is 125 so for the second movie also the duration is 125 for the third movie, again, the duration is 125. For the fourth movie, again, the duration is 125. And for the fifth movie, the duration will be 107. So now it is working as expected. So in this way, if we want, we can also whitelist some of the parameters. For example, here we are whitelisting duration. Then let's say I also want to whitelist this ratings so user should also be able to filter based on multiple values for ratings so that i will specify in this array as the second element then let's see what other things we can specify so name i will not specify description no need total ratings no need release here let's specify so user should also be able to filter movies based on multiple release years then release date let's specify it 
and then I will also specify this genres okay directors let's also specify this and now I'm going to move these elements into a separate line so that it will be more readable all right let's see if we have any other fields so by actors also i want to allow users to filter multiple values multiple results let's specify price also and created by duration in hours these things we will leave so we only want to whitelist these fields later if we are going to add more fields to our movies object in that case we might need to specify those fields as well but for now this should be okay so using this hpp package we can avoid parameter pollution in our express app and just now i showed you how we can do that so this is all from this authentication and authorization section of this complete node.js course in this section we learned in great detail how to authenticate a user how to protect routes from unauthorized users and also how to take some security measures in our express application this is all from this lecture and from this section if you have any questions from this section or from this lecture then feel free to ask it